Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the complete demo of the clustering with multi viewpoint based dissimilarity measures. In traditional way, clustering is the process of organizing the objects into groups whose objects are similar in some way. That similarity will be defined either explicitly or implicitly, but it will not sufficient to process the cluster as more efficiency. We intro a multi point based similarity measures between two or more of clusters. The main scope of the project will measure the similarity and dissimilarity between the objects which are present in the different cluster groups. The multi-level of the similarity measures will be held not in the same cluster where the document object is placed. It will happen in the various cluster group document objects. The comparison with the other clustering algorithms, our multi viewpoint based similarity measures will provide the best and more accuracy performance in the results. Next, we are going to see the data flow of this project. Here, the clustering will be held by two similarity measures. The initial piece, the data set which having the collection of documents, will be partitioned into three clustering groups. In this clustering will be occurred by frequent occurrence of the documents. The similarity between the document objects will be calculated. The similarity factors will be measured. In this similarity factor will be determined through the content present in the documents. In that next level, the maximum dissimilarity between the objects present in the same cluster will be calculated. In this calculation, we will use the cosine similarity algorithm to determine the similarity value. The output of the cosine value will provide the maximum dissimilar value of that document. By using this, the most irrelevant document which is present in the cluster group will be predicted. Next, we use the algorithm for optimize the complexity of determine the relevant cluster for the dissimilar document object. Here the dissimilar document will be compared with the other cluster group documents. Then predict the most relevant cluster group which is suitable for the dissimilar document. Finally, the dissimilar document object will be moved to the relevant document object present in the other clusters. The number of document objects present in the each cluster group will be used to determine the accuracy of the result. Next, we are going to see demo of multi viewpoint based similarity measures. For this one, initially we need to humulate the documents into database. Overall documents will partitioned into three clustering groups. For that confirmation, we will view the documents from database. The table will show the documents presence in the cluster group. They are arranged by using the cluster ID. Next process is similarity measures. It will measure by using content present in the each document. Within same cluster, it will provide the similarity vector. Similarity vector will be calculated for each and every cluster groups individually. Likewise, we calculate the similarity vector for cluster group 2 and cluster group 3. In this similarity vector will be calculated by using the frequent occurrence of the next document. The outputs are shown in the text area. We need to select one cluster group for further similarity measures. For this one, I will select the cluster group 2 for the further similarity measures. The cosine similarity calculation will be used to calculate the maximum similarity between the documents present in the selected cluster group. It will use frequent occurrence of three documents for similarity measures. The maximum dissimilarity value will provide the dissimilar document present in the selected cluster group. It provides three document objects. 
Next, we get the document details about the dissimilar document such as document name, location and content present in the document. Next, we calculate the multi-viewpoint similarity measures. Multi-viewpoint will measure the select the suitable cluster group for dissimilar document. Next, we select the multi-viewpoint for other cluster groups. The multi-viewpoint is the process of comparing the dissimilar document into the other cluster group document objects. It will give the following details. The current cluster ID will denote the dissimilar document cluster group. The possible cluster will provide the possible cluster groups for the dissimilar document. Related cluster ID will provide the most possible cluster group for the dissimilar document. Cluster movement will process the movement of dissimilar document from one cluster group to other cluster group. Here the 4.txt document will move from cluster 2 to cluster 1 because the cluster 1 is the most suitable cluster group for the dissimilar document 4.txt. If you select the OK, the cluster group will be formed. For that confirmation, we will view the documents from the database. The highlighted area will show the 4.txt dissimilar document will move from cluster 2 to cluster 1 group. The number of documents present in each cluster group will be used to calculate the result accuracy. That will compare with the other traditional clustering methods, likewise k-means. Multi-viewpoint similarity measures will provide the more accuracy results that will be shown in the graph. In this, our whole process calculate the multi-view similarity for clustering document successfully developed. Thank you for watch.